a beautiful day out. It's a beautiful day outside. It's nice out. Today, a lot of, well not today, but a lot of you guys been DMing me and asking me, you know, when I get better or whenever I feel okay enough to talk about it. So, you know, just tell my miscarriage story. And I went on YouTube and just seen a lot of different girls, you know, stories on how, you know, they miscarry. So, um, <clears throat> One thing I have, don't mind my nails, I'm getting them done today. <laughs> but one thing that I have to say is that it is hard. It's very, very hard. But every day gets a little better. Um, I'm better than how I was, you know, that night. Um, that it happened because I was a wreck. Um... So I can say that I am honestly getting better. I'm not fully, you know, healed from it, but I am getting, you know, a little better. So basically I was diagnosed with a threatened miscarriage. If you guys don't know what that is, look it up on Google, <laughs> look it up on Google. But uh, yeah, they diagnosed me with a threatened miscarriage. Um, the doctor checked my cervix, it wasn't open, but the sac was, um, you know, sitting low in my uterus and, it's, and it was supposed to sit low in my uterus um they didn't when they did an ultrasound and they did a transvaginal ultrasound it was two different ultrasounds they done on me um one when they just put the gel on my stomach and the and then the other when they put this little stick and has a camera in there they put a little wrapper on there with lube on it and then you know they just inserted in my vagina so they didn't see the fetus <clears throat> and they didn't you know hear the heartbeat so when the doctor told me that you know i just automatically knew that the baby was gone but i just didn't want to believe it y'all because i just had so much hope that once the ultrasound came the ultrasound was supposed to be on um tuesday january 23rd was supposed to be the ultrasound when we hear our baby's heartbeat and see the baby they didn't do that they didn't do on um, the ultrasound instead they just made sure that everything was out you know my vagina because you know leftover things from the the baby can you know cause an infection so they had to make sure you know it wasn't nothing left in my uterus and it wasn't thank god because i don't like i never been put to sleep before i never went in surgery before so <laughs> i would have been nervous for that so i thank god that you know everything was out you know my uterus but anyways I forgot where I left off. Y'all, I'm, I'm really, <laughs> my mind just been, so um, I totally forgot where I stopped at. That night was very devastating for me and say, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into detail or anything, but the, it was very devastating. And I couldn't do nothing but, <laughs> but cry, y'all. I couldn't do nothing but cry. And I told Tay, Tay fell on the floor. He started crying and all he was saying was, you know, oh no, not my baby. No, God, why? And I instantly told him to call my mom. He called my mom. The whole fam came over and it was like 8.30 something like at night and everyone had to get up for work. So this happened Sunday. And everyone had to get up for work the next day. So they all came out, like my family, my sister and my brother, my sister-in-law, my mom, my dad. They came all out. And, you know, they stayed for a little bit, made sure we was okay. My mom and my dad talked to us. Um, and, and what they were saying to us, you know, it helped. But we were just still out of it. Like, we were just still out of it. Sometimes I still can um, picture it. And I be trying to get the image out of my head, but it just, it's just still there. At the hospital, they did my blood and they told me that it just didn't match to where a pregnant woman should be at nine weeks. So they told me that a pregnant woman blood should be skyrocket high. And mine was just at 2000. So they were looking at that like, okay, well, something isn't right, you know? Obviously, you know, the baby either died or you just miscalculated, you know, your um, dates. And I was praying I miscalculated my dates. Yeah, I was praying, but 
it, it just wasn't that so they gave me a packet um i can't find it i think it's in the car but they gave me a packet and it was basically telling me what i was diagnosed with and the home care instructions um that it can increase my chances of still carrying the baby i don't know why they would give me that little portion of instructions if they told me that basically the miscarriage was going to happen and there was nothing i can do about it so i just felt like that was not helping me at all but i still had hope and i still followed the instructions i stayed off my feet and you know i just did that little stuff that they told me to do but it was just too late. I went to the hospital Saturday. Um, the video is on the main channel when I went to the hospital. And that night was when they did the ultrasound and the transvaginal ultrasound. For the people that's, you know, mistaken. Um, that was that night. <clears throat> and then the miscarriage happened Sunday. It is a freaking process, y'all. It is a freaking process. And the, and the craziest thing to me is that someone told me, like, y'all can always make another baby. And you weren't even that big. You were just not. What are you talking about? Like that. That's that stuff really made me. What they said made me so mad, y'all. Like it's just a simple fact that that was something that was a part of me. It doesn't matter if the baby could have been six weeks. It could have been seven weeks. It doesn't matter. That was something that was a part of me, and I lost it. So they people just be saying crazy things y'all but i try to block them out i'll be trying to stay off of social media because i know people gonna say what they want to say and people out here is just so heartless they don't care you know they would say anything to hurt you to tear you down that's that's just the type of people we have in this world crazy people <clears throat> but i'm not um going to acknowledge those type of people um just our supporters um again i thank y'all for the prayers um, supporting us I just think we me and Tay have a big support system and I love it I love it I love you guys uh, this was like a mini I don't know if this was a miscarriage story a full one but I didn't want to go into detail because I'm still trying to you know process it. an update on me and Tay we're we're doing better than what we were doing Again, every day gets a little better. We still gotta live life. Um, and I didn't even know what a rainbow baby was until people was telling me. I'm looking like, what is a rainbow baby? And then I even looked it up on Google and that boy came up like, I'm like, oh my God. OMG, that's what a rainbow baby is. And then people was telling me about their miscarriage stories and then how they were blessed with a rainbow baby in like two to three months. I'm like, that just gives me like so much hope and those y'all miscarriage stories was actually helping me i'm like omg god is the freaking truth <laughs> god is the truth y'all <laughs> but um yeah that's that um <clears throat> and i made it to 50k thank you guys i made it to 50k subscribers i am so freaking blessed for that like on my own I made it to 50k um and it'll be a separate video um of the announcing the giveaway winners so y'all stay tuned for that that video will be up about eight o'clock i don't know it's either gonna be a video or it's either gonna be on instagram so if i decide to put on instagram i'll put up a post saying go to you know instagram but if not it'll be a video up somebody just got out the shower smelling good anyways lovely gang thank y'all for tuning in and i'll see y'all in the next video peace out